So to start this problem off, we're going to draw a free body diagram of the cross section of the beam with the given dimensions and given axes drawn in. And now we're going to label each piece, one, two, and three, which will help us to find the final moment of inertia around the x-axis, which is what the uh, original problem is asking for. So to start our solution, we um, wrote a table in which we identify each piece and its area, the distance from each piece's centroid to the axis which we're calculating the moment of inertia around, and the uh, moment of inertia of each separate piece around its own centroid. So first we calculate the area of each piece, the length times the width, obviously an easy calculation to make, and um, the areas in units of millimeters squared. Next we are going to move on to the distance dy, which we will call dy, from the centroid of each piece to the x-axis, which we are trying to find the moment of inertia around. However, if you look at the free body diagram, you can see that the distance from the centroid of each piece to the x-axis is zero, as written on the page. So we will not, as you'll see later, need to apply the parallel axis theorem. Now we move on to finding the moment of inertia for each piece around its own centroid, which we can find with the formula for specific to a rectangle, which is 1 12th times b times h cubed, b being the base of the rectangle in millimeters and h being the height in millimeters, which will give us a moment of inertia for piece 1 and 2, since they are identical, of 1 12th times 15 millimeters times 100 millimeters cubed. And for the last piece, the moment of inertia around a centroid will be 1 12th times 170 millimeters times 10 millimeters cubed. So as I said before, we will not need to apply the parallel axis theorem because all our dy values are zero. And um, that simplifies our calculations just a little bit because we don't need to use the formula um, a dy squared, the area times the distance from the centroid of each piece to the axis squared which would be the parallel axis theorem. So we can move right along to finding the final moment of inertia for the cross section of this beam around the x-axis, which can be found using the formula I sub x, the moment of inertia around the x-axis, is equal to the sum of the three moment of inertias around the centroids of each piece plus a dy squared which we already stated will be zero for all three pieces. So to find the final moment of inertia around the x-axis we will take the moment of inertia for each piece around its own centroid and sum them. So we get 1 12th times 15 times 100 cubed plus 1 12th times 15 times 100 cubed plus 1 12th times 170 times 10 cubed, which gives us a final answer of 2.51 times 10 to the 6th millimeters to the 4th.